All right, hello and welcome back to the Happy Hour Anime Happy Hour Podcast React. Sorry, I'm a little inebriated. You're getting in the uh, fire. It's fire a pretty long name yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but you know. Hey, if I can do it every week, Jake can do it every week. Well, John, granted, oh, granted, you slur more words than I just did, but you have more to say. Um, I give you the outro. Yeah, and I haven't been drinking in the past uh, like couple months. But uh, anyways, um, we're finishing out the Stray Kids Ordinary album. Uh, this is the last, the first of the last two songs, which are unit songs. I talked about this a little bit in the last video. So this is the vocal unit song. Um, so we've decided we're doing the Itzy uh, um, guide video next week, um, just for time and you know work reasons and stuff like that. Um, but so I'm gonna, uh, you know, brief guide from me. I'm gonna introduce the the members to you through this. So here we got Bang Chan, who's from Australia, Sydney, Australia. Um, he is maybe four months younger than me. So uh, he's October 97. Uh, okay. So older than Richie, younger yeah. than me and John. Um, so Richie, you he's your young. You don't know what that is, but... Younger, yeah. No, we're older. Yeah. We're older, right? He, yeah, no, yeah. he's a year I'm, older than me. So okay, we're. I'm doing so, math. I'm doing math, and it's just not a good idea. So, so we're <laughs> youngs to Richie. We're his older brothers. Yes. So, uh, you know, it, that was a joke that went, you know, too deep. Yeah, Anyways, bit, yeah. we're too too noob. <laughs> yeah. Um. So then there's Lino, who I shouted out in the Maniac video or Venom, I don't remember. It was the same video, but I don't remember which song. So he was a backup dancer for BTS. We've reacted to BT BTS. Uh, check it out. Um, he's the main dancer of the group. He is extremely fucking talented at dancing and, yeah. you know, singing and rapping, but dancing, unbelievable. Um, and uh, so he was born in 98. So Richie. Depends when. I was October, so. Uh, when is Lino's birthday? I don't know. Um, he's older than you, I'm pretty sure, but not by much. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways, so then we got Sungmin, who's 2000, born in 2000. He's the uh, the lead vocalist, main vocalist. Um, really good anyone who's been following stray kids there or or knows of stray kids entire journey knows sungman was good in the beginning but he's improved so much now he is like amazing and then there's in who's the macne he's the youngest macne means youngest um he was born in 2001 uh Damn. and he's also a vocalist really good um, on us. what's up putting some age on us here yeah, I know. I mean, they, they make fun of Bang Chan for being like really old in the group and he's younger than you and me, John. What's that, guy? What's that saying about us? Yeah. It's <laughs> real old. Um, anyway, so this is like the vocal unit. They don't have set units, but they split up into vocal and rap for these two songs and these are the guys in the vocal unit uh, waiting for us. John, I mentioned in one of the previous videos, you would probably really like this song. Yep, because Lonely Street. Hey, I remembered. Look at that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Lonely yeah, Street's my favorite on the album so far. So you know. Yep. This we'll see where... if this. We'll see if this beats it. Okay. Oh damn. Yep. <laughs> this is yeah. Damn, you're really throwing some early 2000s vibes at me right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Memories I forgot I had. All I can think about right now is like a tea swizzle. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait.
있을까 이건 모른다고 생각할까 아, 그늘에 빛이었던 너 내밀어 내 손잡을 수 있게 There's the drop I was waiting for. <laughs> This is good. This is yeah. really good. I dig this. It's number two for me. I don't think it's beating Lonely Street right now, though. This yeah, is definitely Lonely number, Street is fire. You know, I, this song is definitely a like, like Lonely Street, a very nostalgic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, it has the same kind of feel as Loser Lover from TXT. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Very nostalgic. Yeah, goes I feel you that. back to like. I mean, we still anybody like who, now, but. Yeah. So we only have a handful of videos up, but anybody who's watched the handful will know the emo phase has always lived in me. Oh yeah. So like these never... types of songs, you know, will always hit a soft spot for me as far as that's concerned. Um, also, I don't know. I don't know either of you. I mean, we all play video games, but why do I feel like so hard that this would be perfect in like kingdom hearts? Oh my, yeah. yeah. This would be in the perfect for like, yeah, some crazy cutscene or something. Yeah, just putting that out there. Kingdom Hearts 4 is coming out, so, you know. You know what I'm but. hoping? And I've never voiced this, obviously, on camera. Uh, only to my mom. Oh, damn. Hot takes. But I, I know every stay feels the exact same way because Stray Kids, through Kingdom and the Kingdom performances, which we will get into later. We got some comments recommending. Trust me, I know. I will show them. They uh, had a performance that was inspired by Deadpool, right? And Ryan Reynolds saw it. Ryan Reynolds being Bang Chan's favorite actor. Mm -hmm. So it, that started a dialogue between Bang Chan and Ryan Reynolds, who became friends. And so what I'm hoping, and I'm sure every other stay is hoping the same, is that when Deadpool 3 comes out, you know, we get a Stray Kids song in there. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm putting that into the universe. Please yeah. let it happen. It would definitely be on brand for the Deadpool movies as well. Oh, yeah. I could definitely yeah, see it, it just fitting right in. Yeah. And it would in a comedic brand. way, too, which would be kind of funny. Like, you exactly. know, the way that he plays it'd, off of it. It'd be on brand for him to just, like, turn to the camera and shout out Bang Chan. Yeah, just, like, some wild... Yeah. Man. Ryan Reynolds, you know, he learned from his mistakes. Yeah. <clears throat> green lantern but you know like the video <laughs> if you hope that would happen yes yeah give us a you comment know. because i'm really hoping if it doesn't happen i'll be disappointed i'm looking at you ryan <laughs> he knows <laughs> shout out uh, yeah, exactly. tag ryan reynolds just so he knows all right we're gonna we're gonna finish this out all right all right
is some amazing vocals. Like that, that is like incredible for like anyone. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Like I, it's like it's like hauntingly beautiful. I don't know. I don't <laughs> the type of vibe. Tears down my yeah yeah kind of crazy. Awesome. I'm I'm happy to hear you say that because you know any stay who's been with us since uh, is, who has seen the survival shows. So they were created. Well, basically what happened was, and this is like the first time this has ever happened to my knowledge. The so the way K-pop works is these people, the the trainees join a company, they train for years. And then the company finally says, okay, you're ready to go. They put you in a group and you debut. Mm -hmm. So Bang Chan came from Australia when he was 13. He's our age, John. Think about that. Came from Australia when he was 13, trained until he was 20. And then the the leader of uh, JYP, the leader of the company was like, tell you what, I trust you. Go and pick your own guys. And then when you're ready, tell me, and I'll decide if you're ready to debut. Sorry, I'm about to burp. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's like got to be like a, like you said, yeah, a yeah, unique situation. Yeah, very unique. So they had a TV show of the, uh, a survival show of the the head of the company evaluating them, deciding if they can debut, and, um, you know, Lino wasn't that strong a singer i n struggled a lot uh sungman wasn't as good as he is now bang chan was always pretty good but he trained for a long time mm -hmm. um and just seeing how much they've grown in the last four years is is you know i i feel proud as a fan yeah i feel proud of them and to hear you say something like that about their voices it it, it feels good yeah, it's all amazing. Credit where credit's due away. at this point. You know, yeah, we've exactly. watched enough, we've heard enough to where, you know, we can speak it when we know it. And uh, I appreciate I, I feel like I should be like staring off into a sunset somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> you know, drinking hands, just staring off into a sunset, hoping, you know, yeah. for better days. But if anyone has seen Smallville, that yeah. old school, like Superman superhero TV show. Yeah. yeah. This song is like a, an end credit, like ending of a, an episode type song for Smallville. Everything in that generation. Yeah. yeah. But it just kind of like ever. I feel like they all had that same camera lens on too. Wow. <laughs> every, every single show. Yeah. But uh, no, nah, I mean, I, I dig it. That's probably number two for me right now. After I Lonely guess, Street. After Lonely You're Street. You're into the slower stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, I've grown age. as a person yeah. as I've come yeah, of, come of age. They have a that's lot proof. of really good slow songs, so, slower yeah. songs. I mean, I'm sure we'll come across them as we kind of dive into some older stuff. Oh, trust me, if you don't step. believe that I'm showing you every song they've ever put out, then you got to you got to start this journey, buddy. We have yeah. a long way to go. While we got a fat playlist also, and a lot of comments. So exactly. While we are also getting to other groups and other songs. Yeah. Don't worry. Yes. But along this journey, I'm showing you everything they've ever put out. Um, so that was waiting for us. Uh the vocal line, um, vocal unit song of uh the ordinary album. So we're gonna head over to Muddy Water. Meet us there. See ya. Peace. Bye.